grounded hit uh, counter, and then she actually could combo with it. After a back four two, or after a back four on counter hit. Oh, oh cool. So go. that's an that's an additional bind move she's got. Yeah, it's an additional bind one, but it sucks. It comes out <laughs> in like 50 frames, it's unsafe, telelinear, and uh, there's no reason you would want to do that besides some flash. Wait, wait, wait. But I think, I mean, as far as I know, this is the only character that has a bind move they can use yeah, in their uh -huh. juggle and still finish off oh, the item bind. Move, you mean? Item, item move, right, right, item. sorry. Item move that they can use as a bind move and still finish the juggle. I guess so. I believe so. So that's, she's got the most useful item move in the game then. I suppose, but I mean, it's like a double-edged sword because if you do use it in a juggle, I mean, you're giving up all this juggle damage. You know, it's like... Asuka's not about damage. <laughs> it's not about winning either. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. All right, so we're back. Asuka's got the same clothes, but she's got different items equipped. And now we're going to show you her other item move. All right. You do this one by pushing 1 plus 2 plus 3. Sacred Bow. It's a high, takes like 200 frames to come out, crumple stuns, but even up close, you don't get a juggle. And it's super linear. Yep, super linear. That only worked because she, you know, the computer gets up, but it doesn't hang. Why does she look so robotic? I, uh, you know, it's supposed to be like a throwback to like Japanese, uh, Second one. No, no, no. It's like, <laughs> you know, like the spiritual bow shooting, like they do it for oh. a ceremony, like they go through all that form and everything. I think she looks like a robot, you know, like. <laughs> gay as hell. Yeah, gay as hell. She, like the she, animation like, stands up a little bit. Yeah, like, the animation like, She terrible. drops down. Look at her drop down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's standing on her toes right here, man. I know. You know, how does that work? <laughs> it, I like the chest, actually. Maybe it helps with your balance or something, you know? If we all had bows and arrows, we'd all be standing on our toes, I think. Let's get bow At least that's what I've learned. I think we should test it. All right. <laughs> let's test it. Well, now let's move on to the easy section. How to beat Asuka. Easy section? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we're going to talk about how to beat Asuka. And basically we're going to be talking about, you know, strings you should be low pairing, strings you should be ducking, you know, certain ways you should walk against the character, or, you know, weaknesses in the character's punishing that you should be trying to exploit. So, uh, that, take away. Alright, so, let's go for always low parry first. She has one string that you should always be low parrying if you see it. Down back 4, 4. Down back 4, 1 plus 4. That extension is all low. So, I mean, there's no mix-up. It's gonna be low every time. And that leg cutter, that down back 4, comes out of 1, 4, back 2, 4. So, okay. Yeah, once you start seeing that and, low, and recognizing that, it's a leg cutter, and all the extensions are low or high. It's really easy to beat that setup or beat that strategy. Um, you should always be ducking down forward one two if it's not uh, counter hit. I mean, it's always mid high. She has no other option. Hmm. Even on hit. Even on hit. I mean, if I push that button, I'm gonna need a launcher. So there's also. Uh, down back one two mid low. It's always mid low. She should be pairing it instead of blocking. Yeah. Just this thing could win. Yep, exactly. Unless your character is hella good and has a twelve frame while standing one plus two like thirty eight dragon off <laughs> and punishes everything. Elisa can punish it with wall standing four. Yeah, see that's not cool. Some characters <laughs> <laughs> Some characters uh, could punish with wall standing four. It's just that some characters have short wall standing fours. So it's a little weird. But if you can recognize on which character that's going to win, you're going to get a guaranteed job. Is that string delayable at all? That string is not delayable. Okay. So I have to do it. Um, you should always low parry after forward one, if there's a delay. Because I could do forward one three, and that's instantaneous. But if I delay it, the options are always low. Oh. Yeah, the options oh, are man. Options are always low after a delay. Games so have been leveled up right there you now. Go, yeah. <laughs> I got leveled up. So you should never get a counter hit by that. Because it's always coming. If I don't delay it, it's gonna be mid and you're gonna you might eat the kick if you duck early. So like I said, if you see a delay, you feel that delay, it's always low. And then if they stop, you can see them stop and then block mid again. So that's a really good way to beat her. Um Besides those strings, she doesn't really have anything to duck or 
or low parry. Uh, what about back one plus four? You gotta try to low parry that every time. You know, you could try to low parry that every time. It's but hard, but yeah, it's, it's fast. hard. Yeah. It's hard, and if you get hit, I get a chance at a, uh, you know, legitimate mid low mix up. They're both unsafe, but you know, you shouldn't try to low parry it every time. You should low parry it when it comes down to like the end, and they're being really stupid with it. Mm -hmm. But like we said, I mean, the low is only seven damage or something. Exactly. So it's not the end of the world to get hit by it, right? Exactly. You can get hit by that, you know, a hundred times and still, <laughs> and still live. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Besides that, she doesn't really have stuff you could duck or... Is there, like, jump. a weaker side she has, like, as terms to tracking? Generally, her weak side is left. I mean, uh, right. Her right, so you would step left. Yeah, okay. because you know this move uh, is the one you want to use in fast situations that you want to mid that kind of tracks, but it doesn't track to that side, and everything else is really slow to track. So she's gonna get stepped left all day. I have to do this, and then that's 19 frames. Or I could do this because the low kick right. tracks. But if you're side stepping already and you see me whip that first punch, and you have a hop kick loaded. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're gonna shoot me. Yeah. Um, Interesting. So sidewalk left, really good again, it's Asuka. Yeah, so, you know, sidestepping and sidewalking Asuka is generally a good idea because her tracking moves are slow or not damaging. I mean, all you need to worry about that forward form, that's 19 frames. And if you can bait it, it's yeah. high, so. Yeah, and if you can bait oh, it, wow. it's high. And, I mean, this only accounts for people who play Tekken 5. They shorten the range. It's a visibly new animation. Interesting. You know, but I don't remember what it looked like in five, but it, I can imagine a move that looked longer than that. So. Yeah, you know, they added the, the the white homing streaks and reanimated it, but made her legs shorter. Um, yeah, that's about it for low parry and ducking. If you could low parry one three and one four, then you're good. Cool. What about Asuka's weaknesses to Punishers? I think I mentioned it early in the show, but she has no Punishers from 10 to 14. Like, they're all pretty bad. I mean, if you, uh, what is Lily's hop kick on block? 12. 12? I can't punish it with anything. This is like my pretty much my best Punisher. Yeah. 20 points of damage. They could kind of get away with it. Yeah, time. you know, if, if um, you're playing against an Asuka and you have a good generic hop kick, that's your answer to a ton of situations. The Very risk reward is like really way in your favor. Opinion. Yeah, way, way in uh, ask of the opponent's favor. Because mm -hmm. if I block a hop kick, I don't get anything besides lucky twenty points, maybe. Yeah. Um, yeah, at fifteen frames, she gets her generic, you know, down for two. Mm -hmm. But I mean, what's negative fifteen that they're going to be throwing out All that day. you can punish? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know, forward two is kind of interesting because it's 17 frames, one motion, and it launches very well. And it's really good for punishing like Lars up three, which is hard to punish because it runs in and then launches instead of like hitting him in the, at the air. So, yeah, besides that, I mean, her 12 frame punish is that and that. Her wall standing punish game is terrible. At 15 frames, where people usually get wall standing two launchers, she only gets. What is that, 48, 49, 45, 45? I think. Yeah, that's no good and for 15 frames. Again, it's mid-high, so if you miss by one frame. Yeah, and mm -hmm. it's undelayable. I have to oh. commit. I oh. can't uh, visually hit confirm it. An advanced uh, while standing punish, like say someone has a negative 18 sweep like Dragunov, mm -hmm. down back three, is negative 18. Asuka can only punish with while standing forward generically, but if, you're, uh, if you want to get your max uh, damage out of that, you can crouch cancel within two frames and one plus two. That will punish at negative 18. And at negative 19, you get wall standing three into a weaker juggle. So her wall, her punishing game is really bad. So you gotta be really sharp and it's like crouch cancel then one plus two. Yeah. Within and those small frames. Yeah, and you know you have to have that practiced, you know, really well, and then you're gonna miss it in tournament time because it never comes up. You know? <laughs> so that's how it happens with her. And it kind of sounds like Dragonov might be a bad matchup for Asuka. You know, it sounds like Dragonov might be a bad match, but everyone's a bad match. <laughs> <laughs> did, so. you, did you know that all of Elisa's tripping lows are minus 18? Yeah, I did know that. <laughs> so, 
what can you do? <laughs> you know, I can only You can not pick you. Asuka. Yeah, you know, well, I've played Asuka for so long, and no other choice. Right. It's dedication. Yeah, but while standing one four, they could roll back out of it, so no free wake up. But if they don't roll back, I get a free attack. Generally, people do four four three. So if they don't roll back, oh. I get sixty points of damage. But who's not gonna roll back? Exactly. <laughs> could you just like holding back to it's block anyone? Yeah. yeah. You know, it's, it's not one hit; it's two hit. Yeah, I mean, you can see it. Oh, I got hit by boss standing one. Yeah, you know, it's like oh god. Right. I'm out of there. Peace. Hmm. So I mean. You know, as far as going, if you know, if a new player came up to you and said that they wanted to use Asuka, uh, you know, what advice would you give them offensively? I mean, it seems to me like she needs to be more defensive when she plays, but she doesn't have good punchers. Like, I feel like you have to use her spacing and then, you know, try and whip punch it forward too. Yep. I, mean, I feel like that's got to be a big part of her game. Yeah, I definitely feel like backdash cancels are, you know, one of the best things she could do just because of forward two. Right. I can't do it so well on the pad, but mm -hmm. you, know, you could generally backdash really fast. Because, I mean, if you're just standing there turtling and punishing stuff, you're not going to exactly. really get anywhere with exactly. her, right? Exactly, and she so, has yeah. a lot of safe launchers, mm -hmm. so you could generally sidestep and throw out safe launchers, backdash and throw out safe launchers. Also, she's got that reverse to, yeah. to stop the bulldogs. Yeah, got the reverse to stop the bulldogs, gets owned up by knees and elbows, which are some of the best moves in the game, like Lars up three, you know? So... <laughs> And was I. So you can <laughs> anticipate these moves, but if they're a knee or an elbow... Or even a low. Or even a low, yeah. Right. Right. And so would you say that maybe Bruce might be a really bad matchup for her? <laughs> and Bruce does a lot of damage. He's And he's right. full of elbows and knees, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, that's what people think. And, you know, people are usually like, oh man, he's doing reversals. I'm hitting him with elbows. But, you know, that doesn't dis dissuade me. I'm always going to reverse unless mm -hmm. you start... Max punishing with juggles. That should be the mentality behind reversals. Chickening does not Do stop anything. me from doing Trying another reversal. Mm -hmm. You know, my reversal leads to potential juggles. Your chicken just, you know, does a little bit of damage, and the announcer doesn't even say chicken anymore. I know. It's useless. So yeah, before it was a where psychological. is the reward on this? Yeah, before <laughs> it was psychological. Like you reversed a reversal, and it said chicken. Like you're chicken a chicken. Chicken burritos. You know, and now it's not, not a do chicken. Do so. it. Chicken burritos. Yep. So her, like I said, her wall standing game is not good for punishing. But something that I, you know, realized early on in Tekken 5 was that her wall standing game was really bad anyway in all those games. So, so it's not something she's lost. She's yeah, it's not something she's lost. It's, you know, she's something, always had yeah, it. she's always had it. Mm -hmm. But she's also always had can can kick. Right. Which is the answer to wall standing. Right. Because so you just crush it immediately, don't even bother blocking it. Yes, that's the idea. You want to crush and juggle instead of blocking, because her blocking lows is terrible. Interesting. So you want to use back three and then can can kick to crush lows. Or hop kick, you know, if you're decent with a 20 frame hop kick. <laughs> um, yeah, so the idea is to crush those lows. I mean, that does 30 points on a counter hit launch. 31, and that's big, big damage. All right, so um, I think we've covered Asuka pretty good here. All our goods and bads. Um, Mostly bad. Hey, I still think she's decent. <laughs> pretty decent. Pretty decent. All right, well, thanks for coming on our show. Thanks a lot, Rip. Hope uh, everyone learned something out there. All right, be sure to check out IamTekken.com. And IamNotTekken.com. <laughs> Just kidding, it's not a real site. Are you sure? Not yet, anyway. Maybe. Uh-oh. <laughs> Maybe in the future. I'm going to make it right now. <laughs> All right, so uh, subscribe to our channel, give us some ratings, leave some comments, let us know what you think of the show, and uh, tune in next time to level, level up your game. game.